Albert Camus' The Fall delves into the complexities of human existence, morality, and self-perception through a monologue delivered by the protagonist, Jean-Baptiste Clamence. Set in an unnamed city that resembles Amsterdam, the novel's narrative unfolds within the confines of a bar where Clamence recounts his life story to an unnamed listener, presenting a profound exploration of guilt and existential crisis. Clamence, once a successful lawyer in Paris, portrays himself as a man who once enjoyed the respect and admiration of his peers. He reveals that his seemingly impeccable life was a facade, underpinned by vanity and a deep-seated hypocrisy. Through his monologue, Clamence unravels the disillusionment he experienced when he became acutely aware of his own moral failings. This awareness is triggered by a series of events that culminate in a profound sense of personal and ethical disintegration. Central to the novel is Clamence's self-critique and confession of his own moral duplicity. He admits to his role in perpetuating a false sense of righteousness while, in reality, being driven by selfish desires. This duality is epitomized in his reflections on an incident where he failed to intervene when he witnessed a woman committing suicide. This moment becomes emblematic of his broader failure to live up to his own ideals, revealing the chasm between his public persona and private guilt. As Clamence narrates his descent from a position of moral authority to one of profound self-loathing, he engages in an examination of the nature of judgment and justice. He grapples with the concept of hypocrisy, illustrating how he once condemned others for transgressions he himself was guilty of. The narrative explores the idea that people often project their own moral shortcomings onto others as a means of self-justification. The novel's setting in a gloomy, indistinct city mirrors Clamence's inner turmoil and existential questioning. The city, marked by canals and fog, becomes a metaphor for the murky waters of Clamence's own conscience. This atmosphere of decay and ambiguity reflects his internal state and serves as a backdrop to his confession. Clamence's dialogue with the unnamed listener also serves as a mechanism for self-examination and confrontation. The listener's passive presence allows Clamence to confront his own failings openly, but it also raises questions about the nature of the audience and the authenticity of Clamence's revelations. The monologue format underscores the theme of isolation, as Clamence seeks redemption and understanding through a one-sided conversation, revealing his deep sense of alienation and existential dread. The theme of judgment is particularly salient in The Fall. Clamence's self-approach and his critique of societal norms underscore the complexity of moral evaluation. His fall from grace is not merely a personal failure but a reflection on the broader human condition. The novel suggests that the pursuit of moral purity is inherently flawed, as it is often accompanied by an inability to recognize one's own imperfections. Camus' narrative technique, characterized by Clamence's confessional monologue, invites readers to question the nature of truth and the reliability of self-perception. Clamence's shifting self-awareness and the ambiguity of his statements challenge readers to grapple with the concept of authenticity in human experience. The novel's conclusion, marked by a sense of resignation and unresolved tension, leaves readers with a profound reflection on the nature of existence and the search for meaning. In sum, The Fall is a compelling exploration of the themes of guilt, hypocrisy, and existential despair. Through Clamence's introspective monologue and the novel's bleak setting, Camus crafts a narrative that delves into the complexities of human nature and the challenges of self-awareness. The novel's exploration of moral ambiguity and the human condition resonates with Camus' broader philosophical concerns, making it a profound and thought-provoking work.